what's up besties new day new chisme so do y'all remember when i first got on this app with my husband and we were gonna expose laura young low then we got smacked with a lawsuit and a cease and desist well baby norelli ain't scared lexi ain't scared norelli's done i'm done so now the story that y'all all been waiting for that y'all all talked crap about me for not telling baby i'm telling you so when i went to texas the first time not the second time when i went the second time is when i actually met Nerali. when i went the first time i met young Lo's boyfriend i met daddy boyfriend i met laura's boyfriend whatever you know that one by i met the boyfriend she had a boyfriend she was somebody's girlfriend she was a girlfriend to a boy you heard that right she had a mother freaking boyfriend now let's talk about it we went to this restaurant everything was going fine i didn't know you know that this was a big secret i thought maybe just the internet didn't know but no baby nobody knew that laura was a girlfriend besties the tea is piping hot i'm spilling the tea about the night that i met laura najam's boyfriend and how she got engaged all right so this story takes place the first time i went to texas the first time we went to texas we went to dinner with nirali and laura y'all already know that story the second night we were meeting up and I was thinking we were going to dinner again with Laura and Nerali. Well, I get to the restaurant and I see Laura sitting next to a guy. Mind you, I was really confused because Laura had on a dress. She had on lip gloss and she looked like a girl. Y'all's favorite baby daddy? Y'all's favorite stud looking like a girl? I'm a little confused. So I sit down and I'm like, so hi. And she's like, hey guys, um, this is my boyfriend and mind you laura's not talking like laura she don't have on the deep raspy voice she has on a female voice and i'm just a little confused now this guy he doesn't look like the type to be with somebody's baby daddy anyways he is very very i don't even know the words that i could say to describe him but he is caucasian he is young he's an engineer and he drives a lamborghini this man has money baby they met on a dating app and they've been dating for a couple months so the dinner is going really nice and i'm being messy i'm asking all the questions bestie come back for part two all right besties so like i said i am being messy i am asking all the questions how did you meet when did you meet have you been to her house have you been to her room does she sleep at your house do you sleep at her house have you met her mom or brother and all i'm asking everything I'm getting nudged like be quiet stop mind your business i'm looking at my husband like you mind your business you brought me to this messy restaurant with this messy person with two different people now laura had a girlfriend last night and now she got a boyfriend tonight baby i am invested now anyways so laura gets up to go to the restroom and that's when i think i'm about to ask all the messy questions that i couldn't ask before but no this man starts confessing his undying love for her telling us that he's gonna propose to her that her mother is gonna be there that her brothers are gonna be there and he feels that we are so close to laura that we deserve to be a part of her special moment and help make it very special for her he starts telling us that he spent four thousand dollars on a beautiful ring and mind you you know me i'm messy what does this ring look like is it girly and he's like of course it's girly Laura is so feminine and she needs the most goddess beautiful ring and I am really trying not to laugh my husband is nudging me under the table stepping on my fresh pedicure and I'm hot but anyways we play along with it we're like oh okay yeah she's gonna love it he's telling me he's getting her a mani and a petty and a beautiful new dress and I'm just really confused so um Laura comes back from the bathroom we stop all of this and then the night is coming to an end. Um, you gotta come back for part three to finish how the night ends. All 
All right, part three, meeting Laura's boyfriend, almost fiance. No, anyways, so the night's coming to an end. We all go outside. He's showing us his Lamborghini, and Laura tells him that, hey, don't worry about taking me home. My cousins are going to take me home. Now, baby, you can see the look on this man's face. He's looking at her like, oh, he wants an invite to the house. You could totally tell. Me being messy, I step up, and I'm like, hey, don't worry. I'm really tired. I want to go back home or, you know, where I'm staying. So we're not going to stay and hang out. Like, you're not missing out on any fun. And everybody looks at me like, that was the most awkward thing to say. Now he really knows we're going to be hanging out without him. But, you know, I'm a little messy. So he goes to his car. We go to our car. We're getting in. And mind you, my husband doesn't even start questioning her. Like, what is this? What you got me into? Nothing. It's just kind of quiet. The closer we get to the house, she's like, hey, um, can you pull over? Mind you, her man voice is back. Um... And my husband's like, pull over. He pulls over and he's like, why? What's up? She's like, oh, I need to change. And he's like, change? She's like, yeah, I put my backpack in your trunk. So he pulls over. She gets the backpack out of the trunk. And she's back in her little stud clothes. I don't know what you call them. She ain't in a dress no more. And she puts her hair back up in a ponytail and a little bun, whatever you want to call it. Her hair's not down and cute and girly no more. So we drive to the house and this is where I should have noticed that she forgot to take off her little tinted lip gloss her little lip gloss is tinted you know the lip gloss that she's wearing because she's looking like a girl on a date anyways um she forgot to take it off i didn't notice my husband didn't notice and she didn't notice she walks in the house and raleigh's in her little doggy position on all fours doing her little doggy thing with her leash and collar waiting for laura to come in so she comes in and she pats her on the head and she's like good doggy and when she's getting leaning down to give her a treat my husband like nudges her and he's like hey um where's the bathroom like hinting like your lips and my husband knows where the bathroom is so that was not even awkward like even Nerali looked up but anyways the night goes on she's giving treats to Nerali and Nerali's doing her puppy thing I'm so confused on what kind of sick, twisted, double life she is living right now and how I am literally in the middle of it. Uh, yeah, but if you guys want to hear the proposal story, um, let me know. I am down to tell the proposal story. That was very interesting. If you're new here, you know that me and Raleigh are standing on business when it comes to Laura Najem. So, here's the long-awaited proposal story. Alright, so the proposal took place four months after the dinner when I first met this man. This proposal was something out of a freaking glamour magazine. Like, it was set up on the beach in Hawaii. Yes, we all flew to Hawaii. And it was set up on the beach in Hawaii. All of the family that he invited, he set up a little area for all of us to observe. So you had blankets with like picnic goodies, um, cheese, crackers, wine. Like it was beautiful. Each family that he invited had their own little setup on the beach. And it was going to take place, you know, once the sun went down. And we got to hang out at the beach for the day. But when the sun started to set, that's when we all got into our places. So he told us all that we needed to wear all white to the beach um so of course we did we all wore white um laura wore a white gucci bathing suit i don't know if it was custom or what but i'd never seen it and this girl was in a bikini all right part two of the proposal story so basically we're on the beach she's in her bikini yeah young low baby daddy in a bikini living this double life acting like a female i'm really laughing this whole trip i am laughing my butt off because she's in girl mode but mind you, we brought Nerali on this trip. Nerali's thinking this is a couple's getaway. But we have to hide Nerali every time we go to do something for this proposal. She has to get back in dog mode on her leash in the room and get left there. And she's thinking that this is a family trip. But mind you, this is a Laura proposal trip when Laura's like acting like a girl. It's a double life. It's a double trip. It is crazy. So anyways, like I said, she's on the beach getting proposed to beautiful speech heartfelt they're kissing passion passionately i'm talking it looks like a movie kiss okay i'm here because this girl at this point should get an academy award you are a female one day and then we go back to the room but you have two rooms you go back to the other room with Nerali, and you're back in your baby daddy mode and then later on when you put your doggy in its cage you go back over here and you're in 
Laura, female error, girlfriend, fiance. All right, part three of Laura's proposal. Let me get to it. I don't want to do any more parts. So anyways, this proposal, like I said, it's beautiful. He's pouring his heart out. She pours her heart out. And I'm telling you, I think she really loved him. I think that she was so in love with this man. But I think that Nerali just there's no getting rid of Nerali so she had to let the love of her life go she did say yes at this proposal she had a beautiful four carat princess cut diamond ring it was it was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen it was custom piece by this rich engineer fiance I do really feel bad for this guy because you could tell he was really in love with her and he would have given her the world but Laura was too busy playing double life she was playing him being a girl wearing lip gloss, wearing dresses and bikinis. And then she would go and be baby daddy. And I just, I don't understand. I really think she was in love with this guy. But her self-image was too, was just too much. She couldn't get rid of the baby daddy side. So she had to let this guy go. I don't even know. Do you guys want the breakup story? I feel like the breakup story is something... <sighs> is a whole nother ball game. We can do breakup story, let me know.